So I'm not gonna tell you guys the name of the person, not or anything like that. I'm just gonna read you their message, okay? They said, the first playthrough that I ever watched of yours was your co-op playthrough of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time Reshell way back when in 2009. Back then I was just 11 years old and now I'm actually 22. I've been a fan ever since. Well, I don't have as much time to watch your videos on YouTube or catch your streams on Twitch anymore. I do my best to still support and pop in whenever I can. The reason that I'm sending you this email is very simple. I hope this is an okay way to read to you. Of course it was. It's to say thank you. The last decade, you provided me with so many laughs, and those laughs have gotten me through some of the toughest times of my young life. I was an avid user of your original Kingdom Hate forums way back in 2010, uh, and actually I met my now lifelong best friend in the forum chat, who I still talk to on a nearly daily basis to this very day. Um, Without you, that connection would never have been made. I would never have met her, so absolutely, I must thank you for that as well, and I know she would be thankful as well. You've also been a huge motivational inspiration over the past decade. With all of the unwarranted garbage and harassment that you've been subjected to on a daily basis, you've never given up. A full decade later, through all the turmoil, you're still here doing what you love, and that's incredibly commendable. You taught me that no matter what, you can't ever give up. You can't give in, and you certainly can't let anyone or any group of trolls force you to quit something. Thank you for this lesson. And I'm also happy for you that you've been able to find love with Kat, and I'm glad that you two are able to wed, and you're doing well, and I wish you both the absolute best moving forward. I apologize not having much more to offer you than a few kind words, and I feel compelled to reach out to you and to say thank you. Whether you realize it or not, you make huge waves in the world, and many of them are positive ones. The internet focuses, or excuse me, the internet loves to focus on negativity, but you've actually done great things. You've pioneered trends that now dominate YouTube, and that's something you should forever wear as a badge of honor, whether the majority of people choose to recognize that or not. We've all made mistakes, and none of us are perfect, but if no one else has ever told you this, despite all you're a good man, Phil, I appreciate you in every second of your life you've shared with us via YouTube, Twitch, etc. over the past decade. Rest assured, there are people in the world who know of your name and recognize that you're not a villain, and that so many people attempt to make you out to be. I'll always be a fan, I'll always respect you and what you've done, and you'll know that you'll always be a legend in the world of entertainment to me. Keep going as long as you can above all else. Be sure at the end of the day that you're happy. Love and appreciate you, man. Take care. And the reason that I read that to you guys is because I, I just want you guys to understand that that means the world to me when I get a message like that. Like, it's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It has. And when I read a message like that, I'm sorry that I'm tearing up like a baby. But when I read a message like that, it makes me feel like it was worth it. You know, like, all the shit that happened to me and all the stress and the, the mental shit that I go through on a daily basis sometimes, um, that is worth it because there's people out there who got something out of all of this. You know, it wasn't just some dickhead in front of a camera, uh, you know, doing stupid videos. That actually meant something to people. And that means the world to me. As a fully employed adult, nothing fucks me off more than the streamer talking about how little time they have, especially someone like DSP who begs so much. You probably have more time than me. Dickhead, you play video games for a living because you got sacked from your job, and like most lol cows, you take the easier option, which is begging on Twitch slash YouTube while supplying dog shit content. I used to love DSP when I was a brain dead and edgy teenager. All I can say now is what the actual fuck was wrong with me. Maybe I felt similar to him since he was, and still is, a useless piece of shit who spends all their time complaining about video games online and how hard their life is because of their own ineptitude. Shut the fuck up, Phil. If you don't like streaming and if you're going to treat your subs like trash, stop doing it. This isn't me saying that streaming isn't a real job. I think the entertainment value some people give is useful slash important for some people. I just think the way dickheads like Phil go about it is wrong and I think this is a result of them not actually enjoying what they do and rather do it out of necessity. Words cannot describe how much a waste of space Phil is. Anyone who talks to people like he does about people who are excited about his content should not be supplying content. Fuck me, someone's asking for a reboot of the content they enjoy, and you just jump into this tirade? Yeah, I get it's annoying when a bunch of people ask, but why not just take that as people genuinely enjoying some of the dog shit content you release while expecting massive contributions? Eh, whatever. Like I said, I'm a fully employed adult who loves what he does. And I didn't stream myself wanking on a stream because I'm so fucking stupid, I don't know how to turn off a camera. Honestly, Phil, thank you for the boost in my own self-esteem, you complete and utter piece of shit. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man.